She used to tell me, yeah, Alago in Yoruba, that's Alago, dream is something which is uh, like a lot doesn't it doesn't make sense oh yeah 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 like, hey, it's the same thing like uh <laughs> don't 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 bust like grandma say the mother was more knowledgeable than the no, no we're not saying anybody is more knowledgeable more exactly, or yeah. anyone but is. you said you when you remember when you were like a quote you said the mother who has gone far what you said said i said in age and hey, things hey, like so that what, what but that was not mom? that was not the meaning that was yeah. not the okay. meaning there because i was looking at it from first of all from the expressions of the brothers who laughed. Oh, okay. That's okay. The mom who is a little bit advanced in age, coming from that uh, progression, the mom who is a little bit advanced in age, uh, thought wise. Okay, even the, but the uh, was not wrong. even the even the other brother was not wrong. You'll yeah. be a shepherd. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And yes. actually, he was a shepherd. shepherd yeah. yes. You get so uh, the one that he even took. Because all these things that these ones were saying, he never envisaged uh, yeah, yeah. me being a priest. Me mm. be, how can I even do all those things? So mm. when the one of the grandma seemed very easy, easy yeah. yes. they don't pay attention to it. That's and what my grandma would tell me. Don't pay attention to it. Ah, that's what she would she have. Would, <laughs> yes, you don't just do your thing. Be calm. Don't worry. Mm. Just <laughs> if good. if I tell my mom, I would just tell me, pray. But she say I'll pray for you. That's all. But I know I would never tell her. You would not say. What about you, Francis? You would, would you, uh, no, say something? <laughs> I I really don't dream a lot, but I know my dad does. So mm-hmm. some few times he tells me about what he dreams about and how they come to pass. Like he sees them. Like that. So mm-hmm. Now when I know that's enough evidence already. Like that d- seen, dreams do come to come true. Now there's yeah. standing evidence that I've seen. So anybody that tells me dreams don't come to pass is is a lie. No, dreams do come to pass, <laughs> but it, it I think it happens in different uh, ways, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. and it uh, happens to different people in different manner. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if personally uh, my dream had come to pass, yeah, but there are uh, this situation of deja vu. I think they are deja vu. Yes, deja vu. That's, that kind of happened. Like it's something like, that maybe you have seen before, yeah, you now before. come to it well, in reality. Like flashback. You know, I feel I've like this. maybe something I've like that. I, I, that used to happen yes. to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't know about you guys. Oh. If, uh, it happens very well. Several times. Yeah. Very yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, I'll just say, yeah. is it like I've lived this thing before. That's my own. I've lived. Maybe I've lived my life before. I'm living it again. And I'll be trying to guess what will happen the next minute. Wait, this will happen. Like, you know, I don't have to explain Anyway, it. Yeah. let's go back to John Bosco. Let's go back yes, to John yes, Bosco. Yes, yes. This is the dream the dream at nine. And uh, there are a lot of uh, things in that dream. First of all, he saw a lot of boys uh, shouting, laughing, using bad words. What we call bad words today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In those days, they call it the blasphemies and all that. Using bad words. and Because he is coming from a very good family. The mom had taught him a lot of things and all that, how to behave and all that. He saw them, he thought that, oh, the best way to stop them from doing this was to... Repressive? Fight. Yeah, what we call the repressive system. So, he, he thought that that is the way to beat them, to fight and all those kind of things. And he saw this man, I mean, telling him, oh, don't do it. That is not the way to go about it. Uh, you have to go with meekness and love. That is the only way you can. Uh, help those children. He, he called them friends. They are your friends. So no matter the situation that they were going, or no matter the, the state they were in at that part in, in that particular time, he did not call them rascals. Yeah, he didn't call them uh, bad people. He called them friends. friends. And is it not that is it not the way Don Bosco uh, worked with his uh, with his uh, boys? Even those in prison, hiding, or those that they were called hiding criminals and all that, they went to the prison to be with them, took them out of the prison, even took them on an excursion. Yes. You remember that part of yeah, the motor yeah, 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 yeah. Took them on an excursion and if one think... got missing, you'll be <laughs> yes, in trouble. I think yeah. one got missing. Yes, one got <laughs> no, no, missing. No, no, he went to go and see the girlfriend okay, or okay, something. Okay, yeah, yes. And uh, later he ran yes, back. He came back. back yes. But it was late. <laughs> late. As they were counting. And Dobos Kosef, I think he, he went in for that guy. Uh, I no, 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 no. No, as a, no, that's the movie now. That's the Bosco movie. Uh-huh. As they were counting, no, they were like, it's remaining one. One, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. before yeah. they were all looking, and the guy, <laughs> the guy now ran. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you see, that kind of trust 
like and it has to do with the way he presented I himself <laughs> I cannot risk it <laughs> day or day. <laughs> you get definitely I don't think I can risk it also but you see the kind of person Don Bosco was yes a man of faith mm. and uh, a man of so much positivity that he saw goodness in these children in these kids to win and their soul. exactly and that was what he was looking at the goodness in them he was not looking at oh the fact that oh they committed a particular crime, crime yeah. or things those are behavioral mm-hmm. but essentially they were good essentially and that was what he was looking into like no these things that it's all social problems if they have good schools if they have good place to stay if they have something doing they will not find themselves in the prison mm-hmm. so he went for them and he tried and all that and is it not what we saw in this story the yeah. meaning of this i don't know what do you think i feel like it actually the story just summarized maybe his mission mm-hmm. okay his life that's what i just feel like the story summarized that uh, because number one you know jesus christ said he would give him is it the blessed virgin mary or something like that a teacher a, a teacher, teacher. Yeah. and yes you know you see that the blessed virgin mary was emphasized very well in don bosco's life you know and it really helped him go far right mm-hmm. and they also said talked about um, the wolves turning to sheep and you see that he actually did he helped people in prison he helped a lot of boys gave them skills so yeah it was just a summary of his life the dream for him yeah, the one part is that <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I want to go back to that prison. Uh-huh. They difficult to <laughs> go prison. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, sure, you know, sabi them. You vouch for them that you bring them back, like, and eventually no brought them back with a space of not even three weeks. So not it, like he has not been going there constantly to talk to them. Like one day, and they came. No, I think he had been going there for a, for quite a time. Okay. Then no, he no. proposed that he wants to take them out. But even at that, okay. even at that, wow. even, though, even at that, you, see, wait, Father, me, I don't trust the Nigerian prisoners. No pursuit. <laughs> Just the energy. Don't energy energy prisoners. Out. They go. No, I don't think it's, I don't I don't think it's a matter of Nigerian prisoners. Yeah, ah, anyway, 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 anyway we the watch movie now. And also, you know that <laughs> in today's uh, reality, you will not call them. You will not call that place a prison, though it was a prison, prison then. Okay. You will not call. You call it like a, rem, a remand, correctional center, correctional okay. center or remand, oh. uh, remand yeah. homes and yeah. things like that. Was it like a juvenile? Was it? Then no, it was not a juvenile. They were actually in the prison. Prison, yeah. You get okay. then, then. But today you wouldn't find out because the kids of that age, you will not put them in the prison. Prison, yeah. yeah. And also, I think they were of different ages, and you find a grown-up person there, you find a younger person there, all together. Then, mm-hmm. so I would say even then was not well organized. It's yes. not the right. way it is today, and it was even more difficult. Then, yes, you get. And he was able to achieve that achieve, feat yeah. with the children and all that. And after everything, uh, he, he 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 made a system whereby he understands now that okay, if even I help them to go out of the prison, I find out that they still go back to the prison because there's no place, Please there's no there's no system yeah. to yeah. absorb them to. So he created that system. By creating the oratory, okay. by oratory now is a place to play, to pray, and to educate themselves and things like that. So that is where they were. Oratory became there was a hostel and all that. So many of them were staying there and all that, learning trades and so they would not go back to the prison. prison. So what was he doing there? What is that particular part in the story? So he was transforming them from yes. Yes. From, wolves. from wolves to sheep. To sheep. sheep. To sheep. Yeah. And as you said now, our mother Mary has a very great role in the life of Don Bosco. And so that we can see also in his uh, everything. And uh, at the end, at the end, just the way our mother Mary said here, at the end of his life, he was there. And in the church, actually, so they were, there's this great program they were doing and all that. And... Uh, he was just seeing everything and he started crying. He started shedding tears. Like, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? He had remembered what our mother Mary told him that one day you will understand. 
So when it dawned on him, so he started sharing tears and all that. So what are your last, what, what do you want to tell young people today about Don Bosco? How he lived his life, how that dream actually animated his path to what uh, he became in the future because he had a dream at nine. So, and he said that the dream did not leave his heart, it was still there. So, that dream led him to what he became, and that is why we are all here today because of that same dream. That's why we are having this program here today. So, what are the lessons to be learned from the dream at nine? Okay, um, love. Love, love, love. Okay, there's this saying, I do all through love, nothing through through constraints. That was one um, theme I learned last year, and it was through John Bosco. So, I think John, he teaches young people to love. Love, love, love. Don't stop showing love, because that was what he learned from his dream. And that was what guided his path towards becoming a priest and going to prisons, even places that nobody could think of and changing the worst <clears throat> possible humans into sheep. So it's basically love. It's all love. Me, I would, I would say, always keep your dreams at heart. Don't like, don't try it so that they will mold you. Just always keep your dreams at heart and everything cannot be solved true, you know fights oh yeah gra-gra. true gra gra true bass yes. boost uh-huh, yes. yeah. yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah to me father you see we all dreams we all have our dreams but if you dream we you know work hard you know if you come to pass to are you huh? sure the hard work of <laughs> yeah. Don Bosco yeah. made the dream come, come, come to, to pass, pass. made us yeah. get out there whatever even if it is relevant or not relevant just be hard working pursue your dream and even if you don't pursue your dream through your hard work your dream will pursue you that's what i would say so that is it uh viewers and the listeners uh on uh, the dream at nine our third episode on the program dialogue with don bosco so uh we've heard it yeah love do things with not everything you do with uh uh, with violence and also you have to study you have to work, work hard, hard yeah. you have to work hard to get to 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 manifest the dreams that you have in mind and things like that so we thank you guys for uh, honoring this invitation you, and uh, uh we'll see you again now we hope that you guys would uh, honor our <laughs> invitation day. again and all that so, but we still have yeah. other episodes to, yeah. to run so Guy, we thank you very much thank you thank you thank you so much and uh, god bless you thank you father thank you, father. Thank you.